I just like to quickly mention at the start of this video that I am now on Patreon, where from $2 a month you can help support me create more content along the lines of this video. Your support will be greatly appreciated. To find out more, why not follow the links in the video description today and find out what exclusive perks you can receive. Hey there, I hope you're doing well. Last time we looked at some of the basics to do with tile maps and tile sets, but I thought it would be important actually just to look at how we can get our basic character working. So I'm going to be continuing with A Sprite and GB Studio for this video. So some of you out there who have had some experience with sprite animation may find this uh, video a little bit basic, but uh, bear with us whilst I just take those of tuning in who perhaps aren't so confident with their sprite animation skills. You'll need a 96 by 16 pixel dimension bitmap in a sprite to be able to create a suitable player sprite. Uh, this will have all of the necessary animation steps that you can use in GB Studio. I recommend that you uh, turn on a 16 by 16 grid in a sprite as shown in the previous video in this series. The key to a good small sprite is the focus on the head. I recommend around about two thirds of the sprite should be taken up by the head and the hair. This will lead to a very compressed body and feet obviously, um, but this will create a nice cute aesthetic, but also gives you the opportunity to put the most detail uh, where you're going to be able to retain a sense of clarity because there isn't going to be a lot of room to uh, put the detail into, say for example, clothing and so forth in such a small sprite. So where you're going to define who your character is, is through the face and more importantly the hair. I find that two simple vertical lines work well for eyes, but you may be able to uh, tweak these to suit your character because obviously this is a human character. As you'll notice there is limited scope for detail on such a small 16x16 16 16 sprite, especially with a limited colour palette as the Game Boy has. So I always recommend focusing on the clarity first and then look at distinguishing features because you are going to be a little bit limited as to how you can bring in the detail with such a small uh, colour count at such a small size. I decided on animation, and do bear in mind my little subtitle there, I actually uh, drew this facing left, it should actually be facing right, um, so I correct that at the end of this video. Um, but basically I always recommend that the face is defined with a little nose, as that helps give definition to the face. And again you want to focus on the hair being what defines the character. So the trick to a good two-step animation is to consider both the up and down movements and the left to right. The up and down movements are very simple. We have a leading foot, which we'll define as being in a highlight tone and maybe make it a few pixels larger, and the trailing foot will then be in a shadow shade, so a darker tone such as black, and maybe that foot will be just ever so slightly smaller. And then for the second frame, we just flip the two over, so that what was the trailing foot now becomes a slightly bigger foot and is in a brighter tone, and that the former lead leading foot now becomes a shadow tone, and therefore a bit smaller. And then for the left to right motion, this one's a little bit more involved, but it's definitely pretty straightforward. So what we're going to do is we're just going to look at the foreground leg, and we're going to define that to be striding forwards, so it's the leading foot in a lighter tone. Then what we do is we make the trailing foot, so that is the background foot and leg, in a darker tone. So this will be frame one completed. A second frame is going to swing our foreground leg backwards, so that it becomes the trailing foot. And what we do is we retain the highlight on this. Our trading foot has now become the leading foot, but we're going to retain this in the darker tone. This way, we give the impression that the background leg has actually moved, and then this flip-flop will give the impression of animation. To enhance this further, what we do in the first frame is that we slightly cant the trading foot slightly off of the horizontal plane. This will just give the impression that that foot is slightly resting on the toes, as it were, as if you're striding forwards. And then when it comes to that foot coming forwards, we basically tip that cant to the opposite direction and that will give a really reasonable looking animation with just a few pixels at this small size. Mm -hmm. 
So the next step after I've corrected the side on profiles to make sure it looks right is to copy this uh, ping file which I've exported from a sprite into my GB Studios projects sprite folder and then I check the presence of that in the GB Studio software here and then I can attach that to the main player sprite. I take a look at it and I can navigate around our tile map with our new character. It's looking pretty good actually. So I did a bit of backwards yo-yoing just to tweak it a little bit more and I may yet do a little bit more to this particular one but I'm pretty happy with this. The one thing I will do is to change it so that the sprite actually faces forwards at the starting point just to give a little bit of character. And that's pretty much the basics of sprite animation um, at this particular level. These things of course do scale up to um, uh, bigger sprites of course and also uh, sprites of the same size with more colours. Uh, but just focus on clarity first and then put the detail in that you can. So as I noted at the start of this video I will be looking at more complex sprites and animating them in this series. Here's an example of Shvo from uh, Inuyasha um, in the style that I've uh, worked up over the past few months and uh, and you know this goes to show you what you can do with 24 colors uh, with a larger size sprite so perhaps more of your uh, pocket fighter size of sprite perhaps this particular animation spoke is actually only seven frames so don't think you need lots of animation frames to make this work anyway I think that wraps it up for this video bit of a quick one but I hope you found it useful and I guess that all remains for me to say I'll see you soon peace So it's come to that part of the video where I mention that I'm on Patreon. From as little as $2 a month you can get early access to content, exclusive artwork through the post, a name mentioned on videos, as well as tips that I don't publish to the public. You can find the link in the video description below. Your subscription to my channel will also help me ensure that I can bring the latest content here from Japan.